Uh, what's going on guys? Hey, uh, today we're gonna do a little checking on this Dodge Avenger that I have bought. It's probably gonna be kind of like my project car. But you hear the clicking noise? That's when I turn, turn the car on. When I turn the AC on or heater, when I turn the thing here, all right. So what that is is the little cover that opens and closes. Oh, it's my battery. My flashlight. I mean, that's a little cover that opens and closes. And there you are, you can see that little white piece. See the little white piece? Right there, that's it. That's what opens and closes to let the outside wind air in and out. So what it's doing is, when it closes or opens, once it's done doing what it's doing, instead of sitting, it, it, it goes with wipers like that. You see my flashlight? And that will make the noise. get to all of that you're gonna have to remove these the glove compartment which I didn't do it but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that when I put it back on so let me see if I can get this actuated out and we'll catch up I believe I got it what I did was I took it out as you all seen it I put it back on and with these I just tapped it a little bit where it'll close up because I think I've seen about that much of a space between the, the plastic that was hooked up to that. I don't get it. Hang on, not. Oh, you see where the plastic thing is? Is that plastic? I just tapped a little bit so it does see the on a little bit. Yeah. So far it didn't make no noise, but we're gonna try it while I'm sorry about this blurriness. Not enough room for a fat guy like me. Alright, we're gonna see what happens. See right now it didn't make any noise, but let's see if it does it while I got you all uh, on the video. Smooth. So, it's not 
making that noise, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and uh, put the screws back on and see what happens. Hopefully it'll stay. All right, I got the screws on. That's how it looks. Got the wire connected back on there. Had a lot of movement, hopefully. This one didn't mess up. Let's try it again. Where the keys at? After all the movement, hopefully this one didn't mess up. I didn't hear the click. Seems like we're good. Um, check this out. Look at this filter. See how dirty it is? I don't know when was the last time this owner had replaced the filter on this car. Now, this is a cabin filter. Look at all this. This might be the original filter that came out with the car. I look like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this filter, replace it, and then uh, I'll do a video on how I put the uh, the glove compartment back on it. Since I didn't do it one for taking it off, I'll put it on for tail, putting it back on, and you just reverse engineer it. All right, so I had taken this down just right here you just pop it out so i had you know you know easy access to go in from here from here and come out right here so i could reach up there so you press that back on and your glove compartment will just snap onto here and here and then when it's ready to go up you're gonna need to do more uh, Better pushing tabs and push it on there, but I'm gonna clip on right here and right here, and then it'll hold down here. So, see this little notch? It's one on this side. And they're gonna get snapped onto this little bumpy thing. This one. All right. So, let's see if I could do it while I'm holding the phone to record while I'm doing it. So you see it? Is it catching up? See it? Yeah. You just pop that in and voila. That's in. Now See that little notch that's holding yeah push that in same thing right here push that in but before you do all of that you gotta pull these out i don't know if you can see it or not this right here that needs to go into that hole right there all right so I don't know how am I gonna do it while holding the phone, but I'm just gonna demonstrate it because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to do it while I'm holding the phone. So what I'm gonna have to do is push this up a little bit and pull that cable down and feed it through the hole. Like that, see it? See that? Bring it in from obviously the big hole and then push it up and I lock it. And then you just push this in. Like that. Oh shit. Let me see if I can 
to do it again. Push that in. Same thing on this side. I don't know if the camera is catching on that. You hit a click. And there you have it. I don't know why I did that, but I still gotta put my filter back on. That's the cover for the filter. So that's how you pop it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to take it out again and so I can put the filter back on. But I'm finna go get the filter first. I'm finna go see what kind of filter I need for the air. All right, that's it on uh, replacing or fixing the clicking noise on the uh, 2013 Avenger. The went cover knocking, I guess. I don't know what they call that. But that's the air circulation cover. That, that's what I'm gonna say. All right, there'll be another video on changing the uh, air filter outside under the hood. Appreciate for your time. Hope this helped.